everybody. This is Tiny Home Adventurer. Uh, I was going to take you on a, a night nature walk, but I have to change something out with my camera because I have to find something that's going to shield the wind. So right now, I'm in somebody's truck blocking the wind. So you guys have to deal with the background of the wind. And I sure wanted to go nature walking today. And I did go for myself, but I can't take you all because you know how the wind is with this camera. But I will show you guys a little clip of the country. I'll give you a little clip right out here. Dump truck and it was with me earlier. But uh, um, also I want to bring you all this. If you have a dream and you have a goal and something that you want to do, don't let nobody talk you out of it. Don't let anyone talk you out of it. You do you. Their way of thinking is not your way. And that's what I have a friend that I always say to me. Yeah, if I were you, I would never do nothing like that. What made you do something like that? I wouldn't have. Okay, let's look at the word. I wouldn't have. <laughs> I wouldn't have. And I look at people on these scary movies on TV and I'm like, see, I would have just ran and I would have had. It's no way that I would have did that. I. But then my my grandson said the same thing other people say. It wouldn't be no movie then. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to make a movie. So, I mean, at that point in time, people got a way of doing things in different ways. But in another thing, you dream crushers, crushers out there. Stop crushing people's dream. If they got a dream that they can do it, even though it's real set, real high, and they didn't have this dream for a while, let them do it. Let them go for it. We don't, we, we don't, we just don't know. For instance, do you guys know where french fries came from and potato chips came from? Somebody made a mistake and dropped some in the grease. So you don't even know where a dream come from. You don't know what's going on in any people's life. You don't know what the Spirit of God has gave those people. Y'all are hoping y'all don't feel the wind in here. Y'all, this truck got it. I'm actually sitting in somebody's truck. Oh, well, but we don't know. So don't be so quick to judge people that have dreams on what they want to do. Um, I have a real good friend named Miss Debbie. And... I don't, every time something go on with me or a thought or something, it's always she end up calling or something. And I really believe that's God working. She know, he knows, or she know, or she knows the spirit being, I'm not going to argue the religion part of it, but we know the spirit will send you just what you need. And she was saying, Phyllis, don't let that bother you because your dreams are not their dream. And I got to thinking, yeah, she said, that's one person opinion. That's one person. And that's why I try to get up in the morning and I try to take in a gulp of some spiritual reality. Um, knowing that I can, I will, I must. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But sometimes, you all, it seems like it's a hard task. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes it does. Sometimes you guys look at me on the videos and you feel like I'm just all happy and everything. I am. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes this battle is a battle. I'm telling you, sometimes I be battling with Phyllis. Um, that's why at 53 years old, I try not to battle with people. I battle enough with myself. I don't need people to do it. Um, people can say things about me. It'll probably stick for a second. I don't let it linger on too long because once again, I have friends I can call and I know which one to call on. That's why I keep telling you, talk to the right person. Talk to the right person. If you can't get anything off of them, you need to be moving on because you ain't getting nothing off of them. And I knew then uh, I had to talk to her. I had to. And I said, Miss Debbie, this is da 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 what's going on with me. She said, stop letting other people's opinion define you. And people look at me with this camera and they see me with the hat. I can't tell you about the hat. But I can tell you something. I can tell you a little about the hat. Because when I go places with this hat on, anybody that's down and out, because I always have colorful stuff on my hat, the one that thought that things were so bad and they were too scared to talk to somebody, and when they look at me at my, my hat, they know I'm not judgmental. 
This hat speaks for itself to let you know you can talk, walk up and talk to me anytime you want to. Because guess what? You see me wearing this hat. So they like, you know what? I seen you with that hat on and you did not care. No, I don't care. I got Mardi Gras beads. I got buttons. I got buttons right here. I ain't no telling what's at the top. But you don't define me. That's because I look silly with this hat on, but for some reason, somebody watching it. And if you keep looking, you don't know what's over here. I may have a toothbrush over here. I may have a pencil over there. I, I don't know. I, my hats have everything on it, but it keeps you looking. It keeps you looking. It keeps you like, wow, what is going on with her? But it's not a sad hat. It's a happy hat. It's a happy hat for me. So I hope it's a happy hat for you. <laughs> Why put out sorrow on videos all the time? I mean, yeah, I have things going on in my life. Don't get me wrong. But who wants to hear that all the time? I see one YouTuber uh, I was staying in contact with, I was looking at. And I had to stop because all her stuff was negativity. I got to wondering, what the heck? Why am I in this and looking at, well, I'm this and I'm that. I'm like, is she? And then I'm putting all this into my mental roller deck and I'm absorbing this through my sponge. And I'm like, nah, uh -uh, uh -uh, no, you got to get away from that filler because that ain't working. So you all always know when you see this hat or you see the hats that I wear, it's about love. It's about joy. It's about peace. And I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to love you, but I'm not here to judge you. All right. I'll leave that part alone. Also, you all, did you see my glasses? Remember I told you guys I was going to... The eye doctor and get my uh, my glasses. Well, I did. I didn't get them from that one, but I had to go somewhere else and get my eyeglasses. Uh, Walmart got them. So I kind of like these. You guys tell me how you like these. I'd be wearing my other ones. I should have got my other glasses. I still might go try on the other glasses. And you all tell me which one that you like, okay? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get all the rest of them. And you all tell me which one do you like. These right here are so comfortable. Let me let you guys see them. See, these... Oh my God, they are so comfortable. I can see the words on the camera. And it says Cannon. <laughs> it says Cannon. <laughs> uh, but anyway, with my tiny home, I'm still coming along with the tiny home. I have the spot to put it on. The only problem is, is the weather. I cannot move forward because the yard is very, very muddy. And I cannot bring a truck into the yard. And that's just going to make it worse. Sir. So I will be taking you all along. I know which one that I'm getting. Um, with the color that I'm getting. And you guys will be able to see the color schemes. And everything that I'm going along with. Also keep me in your thoughts and your prayers. And also I need you guys to like and subscribe. And hit that notification button. And you'll know when every video come out. Okay. And I just want you guys to know this. I love you. But he loves you a whole oh, oh, lot more. And I'll be right back with the glasses. All right, you all. I found my glasses. So let's try these on. Let me see. Which one do you all like? Which one? Let me point you toward that way. So you will be looking at something. They go my grandson, D, way down there. What are you doing, D? Don't touch down these stones. Huh? You cutting down grass? It, it's no grass. It ain't even time for grass. Oh, you gonna cut down that one? What kind of grass is that? Let's see. You see it? Yep. He cut it with a stick. He had a haircut yesterday, and that looks so much better. I'm so glad they cut his hair off down low. Okay, you see these right here? Do you like this one? Okay, let's see the other one. Wait a minute. Okay, try it again. Let me zoom up. Okay. You didn't even touch it. Try it again. Okay, try it again. He missing it. Oh 
boots you got on? Is this the boots I bought for Naya or Lil Quinn? Naya. Okay, throw it. Let's see. Can you uh throw it out there? Don't throw it this way. The other way. Throw it. Okay, now throw it that way. Let's see. Nope, it didn't stick in the ground, y'all. Throw it back this way. Let's see. Throw it this way. <laughs> y'all, excuse the wind. I'm in the trunk and it still got a lot of wind going on. You like stuck that in the grass by yourself in the dirt. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. That boy is all country. He do not like the computer. He do not like the cell phone. He has to get outside. That one right there. That one right there. He do not like being in the house. I can't aim over there. I don't want to go over there. You got to come back this way. All right. Let me try these glasses right here. And then I can go chase him. Because right now he wants me to look at him. And let me see what... Y'all know when your eyesight get bled when uh, you need to take off the glasses and you still see blurredness. No, I didn't see that one. What? It went in there by itself? You threw it in the ground? No, I was running there. I can't tell. Like they can't see you over that way. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Did you hurt yourself, son? Uh-uh. <laughs> I made it. I Come over this way so they can see you. They can't see you that way. Come over that way. Now you're throwing the stick. <laughs> it's kind of drying up a little bit. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow, they say. I don't know about paying you for doing that. You know, everything ain't got a price. <laughs> you think you're that good? You can just throw it up in the air and then it's gonna land on the stick. Yeah. Oh! Oh! You did do it, didn't you? <laughs> he did it. He did it, y'all. He did it. Did y'all see him throw it up and it went in the ground? <laughs> All right. These are other glasses, y'all. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Come over this way. Yeah, now try. Nope, it didn't go in that time. Try it again. It almost did it. Can't see you way over there. All right, y'all, look. This, I don't really care too much. for the, These are okay. But, whew, the ones I just got, my prescription. Whoa, I'm cooking with gas. Oh, my God, I'm cooking with gas. And uh, I'm going to be talking to y'all later, okay? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Where you at? Say goodbye.